Hi, I'm Andre Faust, producer of The Left Eye Media. Just recently, I guess I was disillusioned by one site. That's, like, that's the site in front of you, Fredericton Daily News. On the surface, it does appear that it is oriented, geared towards news in the city of Fredericton or any news relating to the city of Fredericton. So I'm just going to scroll down to show what the page looks like and the image that it creates. So there's, you know, there, there's a story there about thousands without power in New Brunswick. You know, that's, that's very newsworthy. And cyclists hit by car within 24 hours of the new law. That looks pretty legitimate. And uh, I was deeply moved. Director hopes to bring anti-fracking film to NB. King's Landing to explain black history. Presence at the settlement. So from that this respect, it does look like, you know, it's a legitimate news page. Well, the thing about these Facebook pages, of course, they're administered by either administrators and or moderators, and uh, they are uh, susceptible to uh, their own biases or whatnot. Um, but here's the contradiction. Let's go over to the description part. Description, daily news groups, was created as a tool to get the message. So, most of us, that's all we see. So, that makes us believe that this is a uh, legitimate news page. But when I click more, it will reveal something totally different than what we see. So, on the count of three, I'm going to click on see more. One, two, three. Well, now the context changes. The Daily News Group was created as a tool to get the messages from the sexual abuse network of Canadians to locals about convicted child molesters living in the communities filled with children when traditional media does not report them. And it goes on to promote uh, this particular group. And, you know, this itself, I don't, I don't have an issue with at all. Uh, you know, the only thing is uh, the problem that happens with these kind of uh, uh, civilian-led groups is that they expose themselves of being sued if uh, they make a mistake and they identify the wrong person. Uh, but outside of that, that's all fair. The, the problem is, is that that's a, the description and the title is inconsistent. So, really, they have a choice either to change the name of the page to reflect the description or change the description to reflect the name of the title. Now, the real story comes up. I posted uh, two stories, and personally, I do take great care in trying to produce objective uh, news material. Uh, sometimes it gets difficult. Uh, just recently I had to uh, uh, interview uh, MP Matt DeCourcy on proportional representation. Now, I'm a member of the Liberal Association. That was difficult uh, to do because as being a Liberal, I should be pulling the party line. But, uh, but in my role of uh, of the left eye, I had to be objective. And so that was a difficult, you know, interview. I had to, uh, you know, make a choice between, uh, you know, getting to the story and uh, party loyalty. So this brings up to the issue at hand. Anyway, I had posted these two posts. Uh, one was a video just uh, showing the march that had taken place. Uh, last weekend on uh, Hands Over the River and, uh, and an interview with uh, Mark Darcy. Well, the, the, the Mark Darcy interview uh, created a lot of discussion. But there wasn't anything wrong with the discussion. Not a thing absolutely wrong. 
both the opponents and the proponents conducted themselves in a very, very respectful way. Uh, there was no name calling, no attack on person. Both sides during the discourse of the discussion, you know, presented their case and in some situations, some of the discussers even provided supporting sources to support their argument. The, the discussion was well, well done. Uh, it, to the point that it was almost educational for both for both sides, but for whatever reason, the administrators of the Fredericton Daily News decided to, on the first one, close the discussion, and on the Mark Darcy, completely remove the post in its entirety. And I stress there was no offensive content. Uh, both in the interview and in the discussion. So, uh, you know, if you're saying at one hand you're a newspaper, uh, you know, uh, you're, you're representing news, then why censor uh, a story? If, on the other hand, the this page is to promote the sexual abuse organization, well, let's do different things. So anyway, uh, you know, the choice is up to Fred from Daily News to either, you know, change their name to reflect their description or vice versa, uh, have the description fit the, the name. But in either case, the action of removing the post on the pipeline discussions was what I say censored manipulated. So, what does that say about the page? One last point. Now, the administrators were, were a little peed off because I put it as a post, but my original criticism, I wanted to speak to the administrators personally, but when I checked, I found that there was three administrators and one moderator. So, you know, what was the likelihood that I would get the right person? My chances were one out of four. So with those odd, I took the safe route and uh, posted it on their page. Uh, there was a brief discussion. And uh, anyway, one of the uh, moderators asked me a question. Well, before I had a chance to respond to his question, he pulled the discussion. So, that takes us to where we're at. How credible is this Fredericton Daily News on uh, what they disseminate as news? Do they only disseminate uh, ultra-right news? Uh, are they biased? Uh, you be the judge. Thank you for taking the time. Andre Faust for the Left Eye Rebel Media, or excuse me, boys, Rebel, Left Eye Rebel, <laughs> the Left Eye Media, thank you very much.